A good security system is needed in order to secure resources and to keep any intruders in check. The same is true for a country's military. Without proper defense forces, nothing stops a neighboring country from annexing parts of another country and claiming it as theirs like what happened in Ukraine of recent. The importance of military cannot be overemphasized here. So that is the reason we've come up with a speculative list of the most powerful countries in Africa by 2030. Also bear in mind that having a powerful military ensures stability, growth and progress. A good example is the United States. They have the best, largest and most funded military in the world, and as such they are easily the most powerful, wealthiest and most stable country in the world by default. So if your country has a powerful military, it's a good sign of future progress and stability. No wonder countries such as the likes of North Korea and Iran so badly want to become nuclear powers. Before we begin our countdown for the most powerful militaries in Africa by 2030, we'd like you to take a second to hit the like button as it helps more people view our content. Thanks. Fifteen. Uganda The Uganda military is made up of the Uganda People's Defense Force, formerly the National Resistance Army. The Uganda People's Defense Force, which is made up of land forces and an air wing, had a total strength of 40,000 to 45,000 people between 2007 and 2021, according to the International Institute for Strategic Studies. Annual recruitment is conducted for the armed forces. As part of the African Crisis Response Initiative, the US military trains alongside the Uganda People's Defense Force. The Uganda People's Defense Force takes part in the American-led African Contingency Operations Training and Assistance Program. The Uganda People's Defense Force has also drawn criticism for having a 13-year-old minimum age requirement for enlistment. Numerous international groups have denounced this as using children for military purposes. This has damaged the Uganda People's Defense Force's reputation and might have affected the amount of foreign help that Uganda receives. 14. Zambia Zambia's armed forces are known as the Zambian Defense Force. The Zambian Army, Zambian Air Force, and Zambia National Service make up this force. The constituent parts of the disbanded Federation of Rhodesia and Nyasaland Armed Forces were used to create the Defence Forces on October 24, 1964, the day Zambia gained independence. It was crucial in a number of regional conflicts in the 1970s and 1980s including the Rhodesian Bush War and the South African Border War. Zambia lacks a navy because it is a landlocked nation, but the army does keep a maritime patrol unit to maintain security on inland waterways. 13. Chad The five defense and security forces stated in Article 185 of the Chadian Constitution, which took effect on May 4, 2018, make up the Chad National Army. These include the National Army containing ground forces, air force, national gendarmerie, national police, the National Nomadic Guard, and judicial police, national gendarmerie, and national and police. According to Article 188 of the Constitution, the police, gendarmerie, and the National Nomadic Guard are in charge of maintaining public order and security, while the Army, gendarmerie, and the National Nomadic Guard are in charge of national defense. 12. Kenya The Republic of Kenya's military forces are known as the Kenya Defense Forces. The Kenya Army, Kenya Navy, and Kenya Air Force make up this group. The current Kenya Defense Forces is governed by the KDF Act of 2012. 
It was established and its composition specified in Article 241 of Kenya's 2010 Constitution. Its primary duty is to defend and uphold Kenya's territorial integrity and sovereignty. The Kenya Defence Forces conducts annual recruitment. The Chief of Defence Forces is the highest-ranking military officer and the President of Kenya's top military advisor. The President of Kenya serves as the Kenya Defence Forces Chief Commander. Similar to other Kenyan government agencies, the Defence Forces has been dogged by accusations of corruption because the military's operations have historically been hidden behind the pervasive veil of state security. Corruption has historically received less attention from the media and public scrutiny. 11. The Democratic Republic of Congo The largest arm of the armed forces of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, the land forces, often known as the Congolese Army, is responsible for land warfare. The False Polique, which operated in the Belgian Congo and was renamed the Congolese National Army upon the country's independence from Belgium in 1960, is where the modern Congolese Army had its start. The Democratic Republic of the Congo currently has a sizable contingent of United Nations personnel stationed there. The Democratic Republic of the Congo Stabilization Mission of the United Nations have a strength of over 19,000 peacekeepers as of 31 August 2011, including 16,998 military personnel, and its mission is to help Congolese authorities maintain security. 10. Tunisia The Tunisian Army, Air Force, and Navy make up the Tunisian Armed Forces. More than 150,000 people were serving in Tunisia's military services as of the year 2019, with 80,000 of them being conscripts. The National Guard, which had 12,000 members, made up the paramilitary forces. Tunisia takes engaged in UN peacekeeping operations in the Ivory Coast and Democratic Republic of the Congo. The Tunisian military has previously deployed to UN peacekeeping missions in Cambodia, Namibia, Somalia, Rwanda, Burundi, Ethiopia, and Eritrea, as well as the Congo mission in the 1960s. The Navy's main tasks in the 1960s and 1970s involved preventing illegal immigration, the entry of undesirable aliens, unauthorized emigration, and other coastal security operations. The overall effort in these matters was shared with departments under the Ministry of Interior, particularly the Shurit National's Immigration and Customs Officers. Today, Bazert, Kilibia, Logulet, and Spax are said to be home to bases for the Tunisian Navy. Six Condor E-class minesweepers weighing 635 tons and outfitted with three twin 25mm guns are reported to be in service. 9. Sudan The armed forces of the Sudanese Republic are known as the Sudanese Armed Forces. The Rapid Support Forces have 40,000 members participating in the Yemeni Civil War from 2016 to 2020, of whom 10,000 have returned to Sudan by October 2019. The International Institute for Strategic Studies estimated the regular forces numbers at 109,300 personnel in 2021. Sudan is one of Africa's top buyers in terms of weapons. For ammunition, armored vehicles, helicopters, howitzers, infantry fighting vehicles, attack and fighter aircraft, multiple rocket launchers, main battle tanks and transport aircraft, Sudan continues to rely on a variety of suppliers, including Belarus, China, Egypt, Iran, Romania, Russia, Poland, and South Africa. China also oversaw the production of weapons and helped build weapons plants. 8. Libya In theory, the Libyan armed units 
which include land, air, and naval forces, are the official organization in charge of Libya's military defense. The United Kingdom and the United States trained the initial army of the Libyan Kingdom under King Idris I. Since Muammar Gaddafi came to power in 1969, Libya has benefited from Soviet military support. The Libyan military participated in a number of conflicts, such as the Chadian-Libyan War and the Libyan-Egyptian War. The majority of the armed forces after Gaddafi's overthrow in 2011 were made up of local militias that frequently went active or went dormant and formed flimsy shifting alliances. Khalifa Haftar consolidated numerous militias into a regular hierarchical structure in the eastern part of Libya between 2015 and 2020, which later came to be known as the core of the Libyan National Army. Haftar was appointed as the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces in 2015 by the Libyan Parliament in Tobruk. About 7,000 official members of the Libyan National Army were supplemented by about 18,000 Salafist militia members and international mercenaries as of November 2021. As of 2021, the Libyan National Army and the internationally recognized government of National Accord controlled portions of the Libyan Air Force, but the militias officially making up the Libyan National Army remained under the formal control of the internationally recognized government of National Accord. Seven, Angola. The armed forces of Angola are known as the FAA. The FAA is made up of the Angolan Army, Angolan Navy, and Angolan National Air Force. A reported 107,000 people were employed overall in 2021. Since 2018, Antonio Egdio de Sousa Santos, the chief of the general staff, has served as the FAA's director. He is directly responsible to Joe Ernesto dos Santos, the current Minister of National Defense. There are a few FAA employees working in the Republic of the Congo and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. There was no official confirmation of a presence during the disturbances in Ivory Coast from 2010 to 2011. The Frankfurter Algemeen Zeitung, quoting June Freak said that 92 members of President Dos Santos' Presidential Guard Unit were among President Gbagbo's guards. Angola has established specialized forces with the intention of participating in FAA operations run by the African Union. 6. Ethiopia The military of Ethiopia is known as the Ethiopian National Defense Force. The Ministry of Defense, which is in charge of the ground forces, air force, naval force, and the defense industry sector, carries out civilian oversight over the armed forces. Ethiopia was the only country in Africa that was not colonized by European powers during the scramble for Africa, in part because they defeated Italy in the first Italo-Ethiopian War. However, because Ethiopia was surrounded by colonies of Europe, the Ethiopian government realized how important it was to maintain the Ethiopian army. The Ethiopian government provided its soldiers with extremely thorough training. Ethiopia has participated in a number of African Union and United Nations peacekeeping missions. These have taken place in Rwanda, the border region with Burundi and Ivory Coast. 5. Morocco The armed forces of the Kingdom of Morocco are known as the Royal Moroccan Armed Forces. The Army, Navy, Air Force, Royal Gendarmerie and Royal Guard make up this group. Large, expensive and well-trained, the Royal Moroccan Armed Forces have a wealth of counterinsurgency, desert warfare and combined airland operations knowledge. Participation in peacekeeping operations has given me more experience. The branch of the Royal Moroccan Armed Forces in charge of land-based military operations is the Royal Moroccan Army. In times of war or a state of siege, the Ministry of Defense 
is in charge of an extra 150,000 reservists and paramilitary forces, including 20,000 regular members of the Royal Moroccan Gendarmerie and 30,000 auxiliary forces. The contested takeover of Western Sahara was assisted by the Moroccan army. 4. Nigeria The collective military forces of Nigeria are known as the Nigerian Armed Forces. The Nigerian Army, Nigerian Navy, and Nigerian Air Force are its three uniformed service branches. The Ministry of Defense, which is in charge of overseeing the military and its personnel, acts on behalf of the President of Nigeria in his capacity as Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. The Chief of the Defense Staff, who reports to the Nigerian Minister of Defense, is the Nigerian Armed Forces operational leader. The Nigerian military is one of the biggest uniformed combat services in Africa, with more than 223,000 active members. The Nigerian Armed Forces are ranked 35th globally Africa by global firepower. 3. Algeria The People's Democratic Republic of Algeria's armed forces are known as the Algerian People's National Army. It is the immediate successor to the National Liberation Army, which opposed French colonial rule as the armed wing of the Nationalist National Liberation Front during the Algerian War of Independence. The Algerian Land Forces, Algerian Air Force, Navy, and Algerian Air Defense Force are all components of the People's National Army. The conventional military forces established in neighboring Morocco and Tunisia during the country's fight of independence from France served as the army's forerunners. The armed forces haven't engaged in hostilities with a foreign power since clashes with Morocco in 1963 and 1976. The Algerian military is arguably one of the most professional and well-trained militaries in both Africa and the Arab world though their combat prowess in defending the country has thus far gone untested. Two, South Africa. The South African military forces are collectively known as the South African National Defense Force. The president of South Africa chooses a member of one of the military services to serve as the commander of the South African National Defense Force. They in turn are answerable to the Defense Department's military veterans and Minister of Defense. Following South Africa's first non-racial election in April of that year and the ratification of a new constitution, the military as it is known today was established in 1994. It replaced the South African Defense Force and absorbed the guerrilla forces of the Azanian People's Liberation Army. Until 2008, the South African Commando System, a citizen militia made up of local companies to battalions in size, was in operation. In its later years, it supported internal activities of the South African Police Service. The units were under the jurisdiction of the South African Police Service throughout such deployments. 1. Egypt The armed forces of the Arab Republic of Egypt are known as the Egyptian Armed Forces. The Egyptian Army, Egyptian Navy, Egyptian Air Force and Egyptian Air Defense Forces are included in them. The Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces is the President of the Republic. Lieutenant General of Sama Asghar is the Chief of Staff and Colonel General Mohamed Zoki is the Minister of Defense and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. The Supreme Council of the Armed Forces may be called by senior military officials, as it was on February 11, 2011, during the Egyptian Revolution, when President Mubarak resigned and handed power to this body. The Egyptian military is armed from both Eastern and Western sources, thanks to arms transfers from a number of nations including the United States, Russia, France, China, Italy, Ukraine, and Britain.
Many of the pieces of equipment are produced locally in manufacturers in Egypt in remembrance of the crossing of the Suez during the 1973 October War. The Egyptian armed forces commemorate their anniversary on October 6 each year. Since its independence, the modern Egyptian armed forces have fought in numerous conflicts, including the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, the 1952 Egyptian Revolution, the Suez Crisis, the North Yemen Civil War, the Six-Day War, the Nigerian Civil War, the War of Attrition, the Yom Kippur War, the Egyptian Bread Riots, the 1986 Egyptian Conscripts Riot, the Egyptian-Libyan War, the Gulf War, the War on Terror, the Egyptian Crisis, the Second Libyan Civil War. So now that we know the most powerful country in Africa, we can conclude that Egypt is on track to become Africa's most stable and prosperous country in just a matter of years. The facts speak for themselves. If you have a personal opinion on our placements, please leave a comment down below. We always love content which spur debate. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe and also hit the like button and we'll see you in an upcoming video.